Hey guys, and welcome to another Saturday Storytime in Craft. I'm Mr. Corey, and today we are reading Supersaurus Saves Kindergarten. And we're going to make a paper dinosaur puppet uh, that looks kind of like Supersaurus. So you'll have your own little Supersaurus uh, to help you save the day. So let's get into our book. So our book is Supersaurus Saves Kindergarten, and it's written by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Ned Young. Kindergarten was starting in two days, and Arnold was busy making plans. To escape? Why? Kindergarten will be fun, said Emily. Ha! What if the teacher is Zorgo, the evil genius, asked Arnold. The teacher is Mr. Zachary. What if he feeds kids to his pet T-Rex, Croc? asked Arnold. They wouldn't let a teacher have a T-Rex, said Emily. They wouldn't even let us bring pointy scissors. No kindergarten in the universe can hold me, said Arnold. Do you know why? Because I am Supersaurus. Supersaurus packed and he plotted, and he packed some more. Look at all the stuff he's bringing with him. The big day arrived. Already, asked Mom? Oh, yes, said Arnold. Supersaurus was taken prisoner inside a submarine. When the hatch opened, he whooshed away in his Supersaurus scuba suit, but He was quickly recaptured. They approached Zorgo's lair. Time for plan B, said Supersaurus. He put on his sticky shoes. They'll never find me. On top of the skyscraper. Look at those cool shoes. But Zorgo spies were everywhere. Arnold, please, said Dad. We don't want to be late for your first day. A frightening figure loomed in the doorway. Zorgo! Hi there. I'm Mr. Z, said Zorgo. I'm Supersaurus. Okay, Supersaurus. Let's find your cubby, said Zorgo. See, Emily whispered, no T-Rex. Just wait, said Supersaurus. Good morning, everyone, said Zorgo. Please come to the carpet. It's song time. Actually, I believe it's escape time, muttered Supersaurus. He hopped into his Supersaurus rescue rocket, and he zoomed off into a field of stars. But then he heard howling. His ship screeched to a halt. He couldn't leave all those innocent children in Zorgo's clutches. There was only one thing to do. Supersaurus narrowed his eyes. He strained his mask. He marched up to Zorgo. I challenge you to a duel. We're sane right now, said Zorgo. How about after snack time? Supersaurus decided that a superhero shouldn't fight on an empty stomach. All right, he said. During art time, Supersaurus painted signs for his hero hideout. Nice job, said Zorgo. During free time, Supersaurus and Emily made a villain trap out of constructo straws. Very creative, said Zorgo. During circle time, Supersaurus told... During story time, Supersaurus told how he conquered the vacuum viper. Wow! You're a superhero, said Bosworth. Finally, it was snack time. But just as Zorgo began to hand out raisins, Croc! I knew Zorgo couldn't be trusted, cried Supersaurus. We don't eat snacks. We are the snacks. Look at the giant dinosaur. They're all in trouble. Don't worry, kids, said Zorgo. We'll help him get out. Help him get out? Supersaurus stared. Isn't he going to eat us? 
I think he'd rather have some raisins, don't you? Said Zorgo. Come here, little guy. Wait, I have a plan, said Supersaurus. Working together, Supersaurus and Zorgo soon ensnared the beast. See, they're uh, trapping him with some raisins. Nice work, Supersaurus, said Emily. Can I be your sidekick? asked Bosworth. When school was over, Mr. Z said goodbye. I'm sure glad you were here today, Supersaurus. Clearly kindergarten needs me, said Supersaurus. I'll be back tomorrow. And by the way, you can call me Arnold. The end. So that was a cool book. And now we're going to make our own Supersaurus. So if you had registered for the kit, you'll get a uh, template to uh, make the Supersaurus. Let me show you what it looks like. So on one page, there's going to be the Supersaurus body. And then there will be his hands and legs and his tail. And we're going to put them together using some brads. So first, let's color them in. Alright, so now everything is colored in. There we go. And now we're going to cut it out. So next we're going to take our pictures and take our brads, the little metal fasteners, and we are going to attach everything together. So first we're going to carefully poke some holes into Supersaurus. Now be careful when you do this, you may need to get an adult to help you with it, and then once you do it, then you can attach the arms and legs and the tail. So after you put the fastener through the hole, on the back side it has the two flaps and you're going to pull them down so that they lay flat up against the picture, so like that. And that way, he's like attached. So, let's do the same with the rest of the pieces. So there he is, all with all the pieces attached. It's Supersaurus, and he is off to save the day. He's got like the little wiggly tail, and his arms move, and his legs move. So it's pretty cool. So that is our craft for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to go onto stuffofpubliclibrary.com, you can see some upcoming programs that we have. We have all sorts of cool events coming up in the future. So definitely check it out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.